Welcome back to the Pioneer Sideline. Let's go Johnny Freiwald with the rugby highlights from this past weekend. Hi, I'm Johnny Freiwald for Pioneer Sidelines. We're here today to watch our Bison rugby team take on Grove City. This is the second game for the Bisons this season and the second game for them at their new home field here in Southside. The team is coming off last week's 12-7 win against the Fairmont Falcons. After the impressive win, many of the fans who flocked to last week's game are here again to cheer on the rugby team. The game started off fast-paced but not in favor of the Bisons as Grove City quickly took the lead. Josh Edwards was the first to score for Point Park with a try and was followed by Mike Mulcairn who scored the extra points with a conversion kick. In the second half, senior Tom Walk scored the second try of the game for the Bisons. Walk's try brought the fans to their feet as the game really heated up near the end. After the game, I had the opportunity to talk with Walk. How did it feel to make your first try of the season? That's actually my first try with the Bison. Um, it was amazing. I was in, but I thought he said that it wasn't in, and I almost started crying. Tom, what did you expect out of today's game? A concussion, usually. Uh, I try to go as hard as I can. We had no idea what to expect. We, uh, a couple of us watched their videos online, and they were kind of hit and miss. Um, and we, we had no idea what to expect from them, but we had a really tough game. After a strong performance by both teams, Point Park fell to Grove City in a 12-27 to loss. I'm here at Quarry Field with former player and now color analyst Red Watson. Red, what do you think about the game today? Well, I think it was uh, highly contested by Point Park, and hopefully we'll get them next week after they fell here by 27-12. to But I saw some good signs from them, good hitting and good rucking all around. And hopefully next week we'll go out and get them. The Bison's record now stands one win to one loss. For Pioneer Sidelines, I'm Johnny Freiwald. We have Johnny Freiwald with us in studio. Johnny, what have you seen out of the team through the first two weeks of this season so far? Well, Chris, they started off the season really well, beating the Fairmont Falcons 12-7 to last week. And they didn't quite match up against Grove City this week, but they did have a few injured players and a lot of freshmen who are just starting into the game. Now, you mentioned a lot of freshmen and a couple injuries. Uh, Johnny, how big is it for this team to really get the recruitment? Since uh, our freshman year, we've really seen this team grow a lot. They are. They are a growing team, both in experience and numbers. This is the first season that they are part of the Three Rivers Rugby Union, and that's huge. That gives so much more prestige to the team and really gives them the confidence they need. You mentioned this is their first year in the new union. How big is that for this team moving forward and especially to win their first game as well? When you win the game, when you're a heavy underdog. Well, it was a huge confidence booster. Being the underdog and starting off this season with so much power really helped carry the team. Even though they lost their second game of the season, they still had a lot of enthusiasm as they um, are starting next week to take on their, hu their biggest rival with um, Duquesne. Or CMU, excuse me there, oh, Johnny. CMU. But uh, you, you mentioned that is their big rival. Now, this is a team they've competed heavy against the last couple of years, taking a couple close losses. When you're a team and you're going against your big rival, what do you need to do to take the field and come away with the W? You really need to, you know, get in the right mindset. They watch a lot of film and they practice a lot, and that'll really help them prepare for next week's game. Now, well, how do you think that game is going to end? Do you see the Pioneers finally pulling off the upset? and pulling over against Crosstown rival CMU? I think that they will. I, I think with the fan base that they have this season, it'll really help them pull through and, with again, with the confidence off that first week's win. Yeah, the Pioneers look to continue their season in the new rugby conference. They're a team that's on the rise, trying to keep it going as well. The Pioneers looking to really just keep their foot in the door in this new conference. Thanks, Johnny. When we come back, I'll be joined by the Case of the Week crew as we talk early Super Bowl predictions. We'll be right back after this.